Do you remember when NEO presented the ET5 also they announced that they're gonna do something with AR technology so augmented reality and uh, well they announced that they're gonna partner up with NREAL uh, that's one of the startups where NEO has actually invested in and bring out some technology to new cars and now we've seen it just uh, with the ES7 also having this large um, screen um, portrait by those glasses but of course also inside the car and today there was an announcement by the actual company who was uh, doing those glasses so here's the update like uh, what it means for NEO and what they can do. But first of all it seems like NEO's share price currently down minus three percent is heavily affected by Xiaopeng today which had earnings and um, well it's down more than 10% on uh, well they had a revenue beat but um, I would say like the, the profitability wasn't looking that great and uh, most importantly the outlook wasn't that great and so it's now trending below IPO price um, Xiaopeng here and if you are you know watching this channel um then you know my opinion about that but basically that's what's dragging on the entire ev sector right now whether or not the guidance that um Xiaopeng gave will actually also you know be something similar we will see possibly with neo now back to the topic today the company nrio gave an event uh, a two hours presentation actually about their latest um, products and technology about um, basically two sets of VR classes and uh, in this video I'm not gonna go into the full specs and um, the pricing of the product and uh, also I have to say I'm not uh, you know very deep into the technology but I'm rather talking about you know how this aligns with NEO strategy what does it mean for NEO and the cars and how come you know they are partnering up on this and within those two hours there was one scene which was directly related to NEO and NREAL and their cooperation and basically outlining how cars have been yeah now the second living room in a way if you will and so the founder of NREAL um, he's sitting in a car and using Nomi so the digital assistant by NEO to kind of start this interaction with the CEO Li Bin um, who is sitting in the back of another NEO car and yeah you can see both of them are wearing the glasses and basically starting and interacting during a video conferencing in which they can directly speak together and each of them has a really large um, size of a screen uh, you know directly projected within the car. Lieben he mentions here how the quality of the the image is much better than you know watching the small iPad for example also is having 3D functionality it seems because of course you know if you move the head then the screen will move uh, with the, the, the movement of your head actually and uh, it's a very immersive technology thereby um, it's actually making use of the car first of all it's using the surround system that's within the NEO um, and also uh, there is a, a suppression of those uh, movements of the car so there seems to be an algorithm uh, that makes sure that uh, someone wearing the, the glasses within the car is not getting motion sick so let's give you a quick introduction how this technology actually works the last month or so I've been testing, well playing, with these. The new Nreal Air AR glasses. These really are something quite special, whether you're watching videos of movies, gaming, exercising, getting some work done with multiple mixed reality tabs open. These glasses basically give you a massive 130 inch screen from the equivalent of 3 meters away and that's superimposed over the top of what you're actually seeing in the real world. So this is proper augmented reality or AR. Although you can also pop on these blackout shades or what they call light shields if you want to fully immerse yourself in a slightly more VR experience and block out the outside world. So as you can see with those introductions uh, of examples and use cases, um, basically it's enhancing the in-car experience for NEO there. And um, Lieben, he's using it for productivity as well as for leisure. Um, in this case, in the back seat. And although I found out that um, the Unreal glasses can be connected via um, USB port and other connectors um, to various um, uh, devices such as the PlayStation, um, I'm not entirely sure how it's exactly connected to the Neo car. However, um, it is a custom tailor-made um, yeah, experience for Neos and it's uh, 
an exclusive in-car experience that Neo and Unreal have created here together. And so one learning is, of course, that nothing with Neo happens by coincidence or by accident. This is part of the Neo Capital Investments. Um, Unreal um, has been one of the startups that they invested in. And so we can assume that many of those Neo Capital Investments at some point may actually merge with the Neo ecosystem and offerings. And so thereby they have a very long um, yeah, trajectory and planning for those kind of startup investments and how they are bringing um, those different types of technologies actually into the car. Speaking of the in-car experience, of course, especially with Chinese brands, there are screens everywhere. And this uh, has kind of become so far the uh, a smart car definition, if you will. But what I really like about Neo cars in contrast is actually they don't have screens everywhere, right? Like the Neo cars are quite, um, I would say, like Apple like in a way that's quite simplistic, minimalistic, not too many screens. And while, uh, for example, Li Xiang, so the non EV car, is having displays everywhere and even for um, yeah, the back seats here, um, you can see that this display even is tiny in comparison that what you can achieve with those Unreal classes if you're sitting in the back of a Neo car where you have a, a projection and a detailed uh, experience, it seems, according to the pitch by the Unreal founder there, um, which should actually really um, be a better experience. And this, of course, is not only because of a Neo investment with Neo Capital into this company, but also think of it, Tencent is one of the biggest shareholders of Neo. And of course, they see Neo not only just as a car company, and Neo itself also defines themselves as much more than that. And this comes really true with products like that, where it's really about you know creating a new experience uh, in the car. At uh, think of it like in some point in the future when there will be L4 autonomy, um, this will actually even maybe benefit uh, even the driver. And although it's not one of the use cases um, shown in the video, but um, of course it might be that also the driver can even wear those AR glasses in order to have like a heads-up display for speed for direct or similar use cases. But of course, the ultimate use case will be what happens when everyone can just sit in a car and be productive. Um, you know, the Neo Eve concept where it's actually all about autonomous driving and um, actually also about, you know, entertainment into the future, hopefully. And that's actually something where I think Tencent comes in quite handy and where Neo also with their proposition of um, having a better life, having a uh, the great user experience um, well, where it really fits very well to their vision and positioning. And so in the new business case that I made, I also have one line in there, which is right below the new autonomous driving features or the Adas, which is going to be um, introduced by Q4 this year, um, where I have kind of planned for an entertainment package, where I think there could be something like a monthly subscription of around 350 RMB. So that's quite in the range of the monthly Adas subscription as well, maybe half of the price. But you know, those AR classes fit well in such kind of a um, new world where actually the car becomes much more of an entertainment package and where you kind of subscribe to um, entertainment software. By the way, Neo also invested in a you know, kind of an office suit type of um, productivity software company. And so all of these things, I think in a couple of years or maybe even months, uh, considering China speed, will come together and we will see that they make money off of this kind of technology. And so if you think it further, this really aligns very well with the Neo ecosystem. If you also project into what, you know, here the interaction with the uh, digital assistant Nomi, as well as in the future, possibly the Neo phone can bring, um, you see that this is creating a larger ecosystem. And so this might be just the first step in here with those um, AR classes. So let me know what you think about this vision. Do you think it's gimmicky? Do you think it makes no sense? Do you like the prospects of that? Would you yourself like to use such kind of goggles um, within the car or maybe for other use cases, maybe at home for gaming or where else? Uh, how do you think about this? Um, personally, I have experienced uh, VR glasses. I, I actually was surprised by uh, what it can bring even to business meetings and uh, business interactions. That was quite interesting to see. Um, although so far those goggles have been really so heavy that there wasn't a, a real 
real use case for it. But now I think with this new technology, it's getting kind of closer to become more, um, you know, interactive, um, uh, less um, hurdles and obstacles to use. And so I think it's a good step and we'll see whether or not the software for it will be good and how people will really like to using it. Uh, but um, Actually, I do think that um, Neo possibly has thought a lot about it and they possibly made sure that the user experience is spot on. And so this actually fits also well into Neo's um, upgradability um, scheme where you don't need the latest screen or some hardware device within the car, but you can just get the latest technology plug it into the car, maybe it's wireless, maybe it's within a cable here, but then you will have a visual experience in the car that doesn't depend on an actual hardware screen. And that might be really something new and surprising within the industry. And if you think it through further, um, quite a bit of add-ons that you can add to it um, down the line if Neo succeeds with this technology. So then thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.